In this video we will add more idle animations to the player so that whenever you stop playing or whenever you stop touching the keyboard and he goes into idle he will cycle through some different idle animations for example here he will go into a sleep state and when he is done sleeping he will go back to his normal awake state um, this video will only show you how to add one more idle animation but the system that we are going to set up will of course work with more animations um, so if you have three or more animations you can of course also use this tutorial um, if you're interested in the idle animations uh, the sleep animation you can just click the link in the description below and download a zip file with uh, the sleep animation alone the video is going to be a little short um, and it's not going to add any gameplay functionality um, but you might as well follow uh, the video along because I'm going to add some different animation states to clean up the animator as well. Okay, so let's get started. So to set this up, we will actually only have to um, work with our animator. Um, so the first thing we'll have to do is to open up the animator and make sure that you have selected the, the player so that we have the player's animator here. And we will have to change a few things around in the ground layer here. As you can see right now, we only have one idle animation and we'll have to set it up so that we can use more idle animations at the time. First of all, I'll have to add my new animations and I have here in, my, in this folder, I have some um, idle sleep animation so I can just take all these and select unity if I could Let's see if I can move this away there we go and then I'm just going to take these um, idle animations and move them into my um, sprites folder on my sprites folder I'm going to move them to my character folder just to have them in the same folder as all my other animations so I'm need, I need to make it into a um, what's called a, an animation. So I'll have to find the idle asleep animations here or sprites and select them from top to bottom here. As you can see, I have selected all the idle asleep. And then I'll simply have to drag them into the scene to create the animation as we usually do. And then delete the new character here and delete the new controller. When I've done that, I can take the idle asleep animation and move it into my animations folder. And there we have our idle asleep. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is to go to our animator here and select our player. And in, in here we'll have to move a few things around. First of all, I would like to clean this up a little. So I'll make a sub state machine for throw, run, attack and slide so that we don't get a cluttered um, animator out here. So this is a good way of cleaning up uh, the animations actually. So we can just right click anywhere, create a um, sub state machine and then it makes a new state machine. And you can name this state machine uh, state, let's call it um, state actions, or actually action states. That makes more sense. So in our action states, we'll have to add all these slide, attack, run, and throw. And we can do that by selecting all of these um, animations and dragging them onto uh, the action state. Maybe it's hard to see for you on the video, but there's a little, little plus next to my mouse. And when that plus is there, you can let go. And then everything is moved into this sub state machine. So now everything is under this state machine and we can just move stuff up uh, around here so that it looks a little, little cleaner. You can move it around as you, as, you, as you wish. Maybe it's better to move this one over here and this one over here and this one up on top. There we go. So now we kind of have the same structure as we had out there before. Yes. So now we have a state machine here that controls everything um, about about the sliding, the run, the throw, and the attack. Here is the ground layer, and all these points to the ground layer because they go out from here. That's just like the up node to go to the ground layer. You can see it less written up here. So it goes to this ground layer and goes into the idle state. 
So right now everything works as it did before. We don't have to change anything. If run the game, I can move around, I can attack, I can throw knives and so on. But we'll have to make a new state machine for our uh, idle states. Um, and the easiest way to do that would be to um, take our um, where is it? Our sleep, idle sleep animation, and add it here. And then we'll have to make a transition between our um, idle and our idle asleep. And to do that, we can right click an idle, make a transition, and we need to be able to go from idle asleep, of course, um, back to the other states here. So now that we have these two, we can also make a new state machine for them. So we can right click, um, create sub state machine. And on this sub state machine, we can name it idle states. And then we take our idle and our idle asleep and move it on top here. So now we have two state machines that refer to each other. And in here we have our two idle states. As you can see here, there's a lot of uh, arrows going to the up ground layer. And the reason of that is because all these arrows here point to attack, run and throw. So these are the old transitions that we can still see here. Um, so they still point to all the actions in here so that we can still go from idle to all these different states. But the thing is, we will also need to be able to go from as idle sleep to attack, to run, to jump and so on. Um, so we'll have to make the same transitions as we have here. We'll have to make them between idle asleep and uh, our idle, uh, not our idle, our other um, animations up here. And to do that, we'll have to take the idle asleep, right click on it, make transition and click on the ground layer. And then we can select the different states. As you can see here, we can select the state machine. So we can go to the uh, action states and click on that. So it just goes to the state machine or it just goes to the ground layer, but we will have to go to states go in under action states and say, well, we will be able to, we want to be able to make transition from idle uh, asleep to run, for example. And we'll have to remove the exit time, the, the fixed duration and this one. And what is the condition? Well, the condition is whenever speed is greater than 0 0.01. And we'll have to make a new transition, click on the ground layer, action states, attack and what is the condition well the condition here is if attack is triggered we have to remove the fixed duration and has exit time and the last one right click make transition states action states and we also want to be able to throw when we're sleeping so we click on throw click here remove has exit time and remove fixed duration and move transition then you'll have to scroll down and down here we'll have to set the condition and the condition is simply just throw. Okay, so now we have set up our exit terms and we'll have to make the correct transition between idle and idle sleep. Because when we are in idle after a while, we would like to go to sleep state. So we can click on the transition and keep the has exit time and set the exit time to five seconds, for example. And then we need to be able to go from idle sleep back to idle. So we can just right click on idle sleep, make transition, click on idle and click on this um, transition here and set the exit time to five as well. So right now we, we won't have any condition here because they're simply just gonna loop between each other, jump between each other. So if we play the game now, the player falls to the ground and start idling. And after a while he will start sleeping and then after five seconds again, he will move back to his normal state and so on. So now it's going to loop through uh, between the two states. And as you can see, you can just add more states to it and make the correct transitions between them. And you can see here we can still uh, move when we are idling, even though we are sleeping. And if we go to the sleep state again, we should also be able to wake up by attacking, as you can see here. Again, thank you very much for watching and if you haven't done it already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. And remember that Inscope Studios is a community founded page, so all your support will be very much appreciated. You can support me in different ways. You can either go to the Patreon page and support me there with a amount every month. 
and you can get some different perks and stuff. So click the link to see which perks you can get. Or you can simply just download any of my projects. Um, if you want to download this project, you can simply go to the link on the screen right here for this single project. Yes, again, thank you very much for watching.